Hi, I'm Christine Helms, an associate professor in the physics department at the University of Richmond, and I'm going to tell you how to shoot a perfect free throw shot. A perfect shot will naturally arc up and come back down. So when a player shoots a basketball, the ball leaves their hand, and the first thing that happens is their hand applies a force to the ball, sending it up. So whatever goes up, gravity is going to pull back down, but the motion horizontally keeps going. So as the ball moves, it creates a nice parabola. If you shoot the ball too flat, if you imagine a circle that you're trying to make it into, the area that the ball can go in becomes much smaller, where if I make the ball go up and come down through the larger opening, then it goes in better. One extra complication in shooting is that when a player releases the ball, they naturally have it roll off their fingers, and so there's usually a nice spin to the ball as it travels. And so when it hits the rim, ideally that spin helps deaden the bounce and it falls in. But you can imagine cases where too much spin is put on the ball and it then shoots the ball over the basket or out of the basket instead. And so there's a small range of angles that'll actually make it in the basket. So a great free throw shooter will be able to consistently shoot at one of those angles with the correct force so that they're consistently making the shot every time. And that's how you make the perfect free throw shot.